almost at two hours. I haven't looked at my watch the whole run as far as mileage. I'm just going by feel, totally by feel. You know, I'm gonna guess I'm at about 13-ish, and uh, the goal is to go at least 15 today, maybe 16 or 17, just going by feel. And right now, like just now, in the last five minutes, my legs are starting to say, I'm a little tired, time for a little snack, out on the trails, a little bit, of, little bit more water. So uh, anyway, that's just what we're doing out here. I'm back actually at the Black Bear Gate. I still can't believe that it's closed till July, 31st, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> sorry, Jeffco, I'm sorry. You're not gonna keep people out of here till July 31st. Oh, that's good. This is called a honey stinger waffle. Shout out to my brother, Joseph. He introduced me to these things, honey stinger. I think they're made up in Steamboat Springs, I do believe. Yeah, Steamboat Springs. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Sixteen and a half miles. Oh, I can't even think right now in kilometers. Let's see, 10K, 20K, uh, let's just call it, let's call it 25, 26, 27K. Let's just go there, let's go there, everybody outside the US. All right, felt good. Uh, back at the house, we're gonna talk about the kit that I wear for filming, the daily vlog for all of you, and uh, break it down for you. I will just say though, uh, didn't use the poles at all today and didn't use the drone at all today because as you can see I'm obsessed with lighting as a cinematographer I love good lighting and today it's just like it's just what it's called washed out when it's either sometimes it's like so bright out it can be washed out or when it's this type of cloud just washed out so therefore here in a, here in a few seconds I'm gonna show you some drone footage from this very location from two or three months ago uh, so I was really really focused today on the trails on Making sure that I didn't care what the pace was didn't even really care how far I, I had run a little bit But like I wasn't looking at my watch, but I was very very focused on my cadence my foot strike and just making sure that my turnover was staying as Frankly as fast as, as I could in the conditions today All right See you at the house, I'm gonna go get some grub, nothing like good grub and a hot tea after a long run, maybe a little vino, you know how I like vino. All right, good day. Good day, YouTube. And listen, all your comments are rolling in from yesterday's vlog where we talked about, um, what did we talk about? My brain's a little, uh, a little weary at the moment. We talked about, <coughs> um, oh yeah, the running shoes and yes, giving you all running shoes once we hit 10,000 subscribers, which frankly, I have a good feeling it's gonna happen quicker than we expect. Okay, see you at the house. Actually, enjoy the aerial footage. It's going well. I'm on my way home. I was wondering if you could start the tea kettle in like five minutes. Oh yes, I can. Oh brilliant. Yes. Oh yeah, because it's like it's kind of cold out and it, nothing like a nice hot tea. Oh, butter my butter my bread. That's what I'm talking about. Pizzas for dinner. Okay. Han, you you just you just toss them in whenever. I'll be home in like. 15, 20, 15, 20 minutes. That's perfect. Okay, I love your gut. Okay, mwah. Okay, bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. 
and it did turn out to be 25 kilometers, just over 25 kilometers, 16 miles, so solid day up there. 3,100 feet of vertical gain, uh, 1,000 meters, a little under 1,000 meters, we will take it. Uh, okay, we're gonna get to the kit in one minute, but first I gotta tell a little story. I am beyond impressed with the diversity of running backgrounds that are here on this channel. This is not a trail running daily vlog. This is not a marathon training daily vlog. This is not a track running. And I just, I'm blown away by the diversity of backgrounds and, and disciplines within running that I am seeing in the comments on Strava, on Demore Global Running. Like, I can tell there's a lot of different types of training happening out there. Uh, for example, I, I can see that there's some high schoolers out there that are getting ready for track season and it looks like you're slowly starting to get a few workouts under your belt, which is exciting. Uh, but I want to speak real quickly to all the high schoolers out there and I guess early college students, like freshman, sophomore. When I was going from my freshman to my sophomore year of college, I was attempting to walk on to the University of Colorado cross country team. And I knew that I needed to bump my mileage up a little bit. So I went out and I ran in Buena Vista, Colorado at 8,000 feet above sea level. I ran, I think it turned out to be about 22, 23 miles. Definitely the longest I ever I had ever run. I think it was, uh, knowing now, it was probably about 25, maybe 3,000 feet of vertical. It was a lot. And guess what? Guess what? I did not, I, hold on, I did not carry a kit or a vest. Frankly, this would have been about 2005. Did vests even exist in 2005? I don't, maybe Camelback, remember Camelback, everybody? So, I tell that story because high school runners out there, college runners, believe it or not, there is an entire genre of running that exists in the world that focuses on long, long distance running. And I didn't, I didn't even know about it when I was in college. So I'm just trying to shed a little light on it to all of you. And what does it mean? It means you need to hydrate. And I, I, I didn't, I wasn't about to die, but I was about to, oh, uh, I don't want to say even black out, but I was really, really in bad shape. I, like, I didn't carry any water. There was no streams. I just went out running. I, you know, it's like in high school, you just go run. And this was, a, I guess I was early in college, but it was, it was way too long to go out there in the summer with no water. I just, I, I, what? I just went for it. I just went for it. I, I, I tend to do that sometimes. So with that said, be careful high schoolers, be careful college students. And yes, there are these things in the running world called, uh, you can, I, in Europe, I often hear them called uh, a kit. So like you have your kit of running gear, meaning all like everything that is in this vest would be considered an entire kit. And for me, uh, I want to focus specifically on breaking down and what you're going to see on your screen right now. I'm laying out all of the gear that I carried today. I'm actually going to go inside and I'm going to weigh it because I, I actually don't even know how much all this stuff weighs. But I'm getting a lot of emails and a lot of uh, comments about how the heck do I film all of these running vlogs. Well, you got to have a vest. And what type of vest is this? This is a Raid Light vest, a Raid Light. Raid Light is a French company, a French company, and I, frankly, this is not your lightest vest out there on the market by any means, but I tell you what, and the fabric is a little, it's a little rough, a little, you get used to it. It doesn't give you uh, like, ro like rashes or anything like that, but it's not as soft or supple as maybe like a Nathan or a Solomon. Um, but I tell you what, I nailed it. I bought this vest before the Run Rabbit Run 100 last summer, and the storage in this thing is perfect for filming the daily runs for all of you. And as you can see on your screen, like, it just has pockets upon pockets upon pockets, and I love it. I can fit the drone in there, which I didn't even use today. Uh, you can fit, I, I fit the GoPro in here with a gimbal, and listen, every day when I go out running, I have to ask myself, okay, how much weight do I want to carry today? And listen, when I'm getting ready for the marathon, I'm going to rock. I'm going to rock 
some tempo runs. You better, you watch out. I'm going to throw on those Nike 30, Peg 35 turbos, and I'm going to do some pretty serious tempo runs. I will not be carrying a vest. I won't carry a GoPro. And yes, I'll have to figure out a way to go back and get some footage afterward because when I'm running fast, like you gotta be lightweight and you just gotta boom, you just gotta focus and go for it. And this is the three liter model from Raid Light, three liters, so it can carry quite a bit. Uh, and even poles, like that's one of the reasons why, even though I ended up not using these poles in the 100 mile race, because you're not allowed and I didn't know that. But I have these Lecky poles, love these things for crazy off trail uh, terrain and I will be giving you a full review of these poles very, very soon. Stay tuned for that. Um, and I realized, actually, I have never given a full review of this vest. So that'll be coming soon as well for all the trail running enthusiasts out there, the ultra runners. I know you're out there. Uh, so anyway, today I had the bladder. I had about a half a liter of water, so not too much. It's amazing. Isn't it amazing how much more water we drink on our long runs in the summertime compared to the winter? I should probably drink more, but I, I knew, I know myself pretty well. Like a half a liter was perfect today, uh, given the temperatures and the cloud cover. Uh, so half a liter of water in that bladder, the drone, uh, the Go, let me just look here. We had the GoPro, the gimbal, and then this is the little uh, stick. The, I, I don't want to call it a selfie stick, but I'll call it a selfie stick. That's okay. Uh, that goes in the front here. And then, of course, I had that honey stinger. You saw me buying that food earlier today. The honey stinger waffle. I have the trash. That's right. Leave no trace out there, folks. And then, in addition, this remote control, which is a little bulky, I'll be honest, from DJI, which flies the drone so I can get those pretty uh, sweet aerial views for all of you when I'm out there exploring the beauty. All right. Okay. Keyword today. Keyword is going to be kit. That's right, because this is my kit for filming the daily runs for all of you. Like this is the kit and you see it out there all laid out there. This is how I do it, folks. This is how I do it. So keyword again is kit and question of the day. Have you ever used a vest for running? And if you have, could you share like what brand do you use and why? Uh, if you want to get into the model, that would be amazing as well. And just share, because I'm actually, I'm truly, I'm very interested right now in Nathan and Solomon. I've never owned either. I would love to try Nathan or Solomon in 2019 for their vests. I've used, hold on, I've used Ultimate Direction, Raid Light, and yes, now I'd love to try uh, Nathan or Solomon. And if you have not used a vest, uh, maybe you could share down in the comments uh, if you'd be interested in like what how it could play into your training um, Because like for example in the summertime if you don't have a team to give you water on a 15 mile long run Like if you're if you're in college and you're getting ready for the cross-country season You might need some water out there in the humid conditions and a vest might be good for you. It might be good for you. All right, that is it for today. Thanks for being here, learning a little bit about my kit for filming the runs for all of you. Oh, what a day in the big bad wolves. Oh, baby. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Mm. And I think I got a little announcement for you tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Uh -uh. I'll let you know what's going on. See you tomorrow.